Hi everyone, uh, we are going to keep it short today. I was going to go through the vocabulary words, but uh, instead I'd like you to go through them on your own. You have them all in your book. Uh, so keep practicing reading those with a parent or sibling. Um, that way you keep reviewing them and get them stuck in your head. Uh, so we have three quick activities today. Uh, I'll start with the first one. We'll just be saying some words and clapping out the syllables. We'll be doing some fact and opinion, and then we will um, do our fish page. So make sure you have this out and ready. Let's begin. We'll start here. Okay. So I want you to try to say each word and you'll clap it out. And with your fingers, show me how many syllables there are. It'll be four, three, two, or one. All right, let's start with the first word. First, try to say it on your own. Underwater. Let's clap it out. Under water. Four syllables. All right, next word. Try to say it. Okay, let's clap it out. Gills. It's just one syllable. Next one. Water. Water. Okay. Fins. Fins. Another one syllable. Okay. This was a vocabulary word. Scales. Scales. That's one. Next one. Fish. One. And now we get some some trickier ones. So try saying this word out loud. Mm. Oxygen. Oxygen. Three syllables. Then we have seaweed. Two. Clown fish. Two. Shark, one, and cold-blooded, four. All right, if you need more practice, pause the screen, read through them again with a parent. Otherwise, we are moving on to the next slide, which is fact versus opinion. Okay, so I'm going to say each statement. If it is a fact, Show me your head, right? If it's knowledge, it's true. If it's an opinion, it's how someone might feel. It's in their heart, okay? So fact, opinion. All right, let's try the first one. Fish are slimy and gross. It'll be an opinion. Okay, fish have gills to breathe oxygen. Fact, I should see your hands on your head. Okay, fish are very fun to watch. Hmm? That's an opinion. Okay, fish have to live in water to survive. It's a fact. Okay, fish have backbones. It's another fact. Last one, fish make the best pets. It's an opinion. All right, once again, um, 
it would be a great idea to pause this and read these aloud to a family member just to get some reading practice in. Uh, and then we're going to move on. We'll do the, the last part. I told you it'd be short today. We'll do our page. So I'm gonna stop the share. Okay. So you should have your fish page out. Put your name on top. And it says name three different fish. Hmm. It might be hard. Remember, sharks are fish, so you could include the shark that you chose to explore. And you may know some other fish too to put in there. What I'm going to do is show you some. Oh, yeah, out of here. I'm going to show you some different fish facts. And as I go through these, you might see a fish name that you want to add to your list. So make sure by the end of this, you have three fish names down. And if you, if you don't have any at the end, I'll show you mine and help you out. Okay, so the largest fish on earth today is the whale shark. It can grow up to 50 feet long. It's pretty big. I'm not going to read every card. All right. Oh, this sh should be good review. Whales and dolphins are not fish, so don't write those down. They're actually mammals and breathe air, not water. The largest fish that ever lived on Earth was the megalodon shark. It looked like a great white shark, but was much bigger. It could grow over 60 feet long. That's even longer than a school bus. It has been extinct for millions of years. You may remember sharks are older than dinosaurs. So even though the megalodon shark is extinct, you can still write it on your list of three different fish. Uh, ooh, this is cool. One species of fish called the climbing perch can walk across land and even climb trees. It can live out of water for hours at a time. It still needs water to live though. And it still has gills to breathe oxygen and water. Okay, here's more you should not write. All right, jellyfish, starfish, and crayfish are not really fish at all. And we'll talk about them next week. Um, but unlike real fish, they do not have a backbone, gills, and fins. And next week we'll be talking about a lot more of the invertebrate groups, which actually make up 97% of animals on Earth. Okay, oh, guppies. Okay, you could add that. Almost all fish hatch from eggs. Guppies and some types of sharks do not hatch from eggs. They are born alive. I need to stop and write for a minute. Okay, let's go to the next page. An electric eel is a type of fish, so you could write that. It looks a little like a snake. It can make electricity to shock and kill other sea creatures. With the puffer fish, which can blow up into a large ball when they become scared. Most puffer fish are very poisonous when touched. Puffer fish are sometimes called blowfish or balloon fish. Hmm. 
The stingray is actually a fish. It doesn't look much like a fish, but it is one. It has a wide, flat body. Most stingrays flap their fins and fly through the water, sort of like how a bird flies through the air. I actually really like stingrays. They're pretty cool. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, this is the last one I'll do. The fastest fish in the world is the sailfish. It can swim over 65 miles per hour. That's as fast as cars on a highway. And the speed limit on our freeways is 65 miles per hour. It's pretty fast. All right, so hopefully you were able to write three fish down. And uh, now, oh, you just saw my favorite one. <laughs> Uh, you, you should have three different fish, and then you're going to write one of your favorite fish and tell me why. So, so far I have guppies, great white shark, and the electric eel. And I'm writing my favorite fish is a stingray because and I need to finish that part right now. So go ahead, think about what your favorite is, or one of your favorites. It's really hard to pick a favorite. There's so many. So go ahead, write one of your favorites and tell me why. Go ahead and pause, and then we'll move on in three, two. Okay, hopefully you finished that sentence. So I wrote my favorite fish is a stingray because I like how they fly through the water. It's almost like they have wings. Now they are also made of cartilage, kind of like sharks. They're closely related. And then look at this. <laughs> I love how when you look at the bottom of them, they have that funny little face. It's pretty cute. Um, and it's pretty cool how they protect themselves as well. They're very fun creatures. All right, so go ahead, read yours to me, or just practice reading it aloud to someone next to you. In a nice, clear voice. Okay, hopefully you had time to read it. Um, the last thing we're going to do today is do the compare and contrast on the bottom. So we can go through it together. Uh, we are going to be comparing and contrasting fish and whales. Remember whales are not fish, they are mammals. So when we look through these things, if it's something that goes with mammals, it would go with whales, okay? And then, of course, there will be some things they have in common. So the first thing is fins. And whales, well, we know fish have fins. We went over those, we labeled them in our picture. Whales also have fins. They usually have four fins. They have uh, two pectoral fins, usually a dorsal fin and a caudal fin. So their fins even have the same names as fish. So that will go in the middle under both fins. You can go ahead and circle fins so you know we've used it. Our next word is gills. What do you think? Where would we put gills? I know fish have gills. Now whales are mammals. Do mammals have gills? Mm-mm, no. They don't because they don't breathe in the water. Gills are used to breathe oxygen in the water. So we will put gills under fish. Okay. 
Next up is lungs. Okay, we know humans, mammals, have lungs. That's how we breathe. And whales are mammals, so whales have lungs too. Lungs will go under whales. Next up is nurse. Remember, this is how offspring or babies uh, get milk from their mothers. That is something mammals do. Whales are mammals. So nurse will go under whales. If at any point you need to catch up, just pause. Okay, next up. We have lays eggs. Do mammals lay eggs? No, they give birth to live young. So that means this would just go under fish. We know fish lay eggs. So lays eggs. Next up is eat plants. This one's a little trickier. We know fish can be herbivores, omnivores, or carnivores. So some fish eat plants. What about whales? Uh, I don't know if you remember this. If you go to our mammal page, this was a while ago, Whales were under carnivores, which means they eat meats. So eating plants will just go under fish. Okay, almost there. We're cold blooded. Cold-blooded and warm-blooded. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Cold-blooded goes under fish and warm-blooded goes under whales. Mammals are warm-blooded, fish are cold-blooded. The last one is has hair. Fish definitely don't have hair. <laughs> and we know mammals do. Whales are mammals. So has hair goes under whales. Isn't that interesting? Fish and whales really don't have much in common. Just the fins. And then, of course, they uh, live in the water. But otherwise, they are quite different. So for the rest of science today, I just want you to go through and finish your packet. You know, for birds, we never filled out the top. And then we also never did uh, the ABC order of your animal vocabulary. Then you may have missed some other parts. So go through it, uh, finish it up. And then next week, we're going to be focusing mostly on invertebrate animals. And uh, yeah, so don't forget, there's no school on Monday. It's Memorial Day. So I'll see you on Tuesday, and we will have a 10 o'clock Zoom. Yeah, please have a wonderful afternoon and a relaxing weekend. Bye, everyone.